Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer by trade and also an expert in fitness machines. And I've set up a cross trainer here just to give you a top tip with regard to fixing uh, annoying squeaks. Um, sometimes cross trainers um, are, can be prone to, uh, prone to squeaks and creaks and noises and they can be quite tricky to locate and often it's just a case of tightening something up to cure it or levelling uh, the machine to, to fix the problem. Um, but some of the adjustments you can make are quite subtle, so this is a top tip for you. Um, and it relates to this front pivot here, so this is at the lower part of the, the arm where it attaches to the ski where your, your foot goes. And the sort of problem that you tend to get is that you get a little squeak just once on the revolution. So for example it might be just there, just there, that kind of thing just that and it gets really annoying so you're using the machine all the time you've got this into just got the squeak coming on once every revolution and, you, and of course if you get off you can't then hear it so it can be quite difficult to find so there's the top tip is is have a look at this fixing here and there's a tendency to think that to cure a squeak you might in fact just need to tighten the fixing up tighten it up as tight as it will go because that will fix it well sometimes it will but equally it can be just as good to loosen it ever so slightly, perhaps a quarter turn or half a turn, and it will just allow that fixing there just to relax and breathe a little bit so that when you rotate it, you don't get that sort of metal on metal kind of squeaking noise. And it's a very effective fix, but you can only do it when you've got a nylock nut here uh, because Nylock nuts are designed not to come undone. Um, and if you've just got a regular nut there, then I don't recommend you loosen this fixing, only if you've got a nylock nut. And you can tell if you've got a nylock nut because you won't be able to remove it with your fingers. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a little ring of, of nylon or neoprene just on the inside there, which is actually gripping the nut onto the thread of the bolt. Um, and you have to use a spanner and an Allen key to either tighten it up or undo it. So there you go, top tip. Um, hopefully that will uh, be useful for you at some point to cure those particular sorts of noises.